And joining me now on set here at France 24 is Sweden's Defence Minister, Karin Enström. Hello, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Now, as I was just saying, Sweden was very quick to increase its military spending in reaction to events in Ukraine. What do you make of developments over the last few days? Do you think now that tensions are de-escalating or not? Of course, I hope so. Uh, but uh, I'm worried that this is a crisis that will last for quite a while. Because what we have seen is a change in the security situation in Europe. And we are worried. We are worried both of the short-term consequences, but also about the long-term consequences. And we can see that the future now in our neighborhood is more unsecure and that the risk of an armed conflict uh, in our neighborhood has increased. So you're not reassured at all by Vladimir Putin's latest moves and what he's been saying about the peace plan and how he supports it? It's positive, uh, but I think we have seen now that this is uh, still a game uh, on. Uh, and of course, we hope that Ukraine now will have uh, the possibility to take their own decisions uh, regarding the EU or regarding anything. Uh, but we see that the security situation has deteriorated and that we have to take actions. Now, John Kerry was in Brussels and he said that uh, Russia risks more sanctions if it doesn't show real commitment to the peace plan in Ukraine. How do you feel about sanctions? Where does Sweden stand on sanctions? Well, we think it's extremely important now that the EU speaks with one voice and that we are unified, united uh, towards Russia and being very clear both to signal and to mark and to punish Russia if it's not willing to uh, step back uh, because it, they have really violated all international law and we cannot accept that. So if they're not willing to change their policies, then we have to uh, take action. You speak, you speak of uh, Europe uh, being uh, speaking with one voice, but are they also speaking with one voice with the US? Are the US uh, and Europe really in this together, sharing the same attitude? I think we have to be. That's the way of making results. We have to have a, a collaboration between the EU and NATO, uh, but also, of course, EU and the US. The more united we are, uh, the more pressure on Russia to now behave uh, properly and to stop their aggressions. You mentioned NATO. Does the situation in Ukraine make you want to perhaps rethink joining the alliance? Well, we have that debate in Sweden and we have developed our security policy that we want to be um, to build security together with others, other countries, other organizations. And we have an important partnership with NATO. And then we are divided on the membership issue. But I think the main point here is that we need to cooperate uh, in the EU, with NATO. Uh, that's the only way of building security, that is to work together, both militarily, but also on political level. Now, you're in Paris and you met with the uh, French Defence Minister, Jean-Yves Le Drian. How did that meeting go? Do you see eye to eye, are France and Sweden very much on the same page militarily when it comes to Ukraine or even on other issues? Well, we have a, a good uh, cooperation and it was a, a very fruitful meeting. Uh, we spoke about uh, uh, the challenges in, in Africa and in Mali. We are now contributing to the, uh, the UN-led mission MINUSMA. And we know there's a lot of competence uh, from France that we can learn from. But also challenges in the Central African Republic. Uh, but also, of course, how now to deal with not only how to support Ukraine, but how to deal with Russia when we see increased military spending and uh, increased presence in the Baltic Sea. So we had a good meeting. Okay, I really appreciate you coming in to France 24. Thank you very much for your time, you. Karen Enström, Sweden's defense minister there. Thank you.